Hi guys, I'm Silwolf and this video is going to be a step-by-step -step process of how I make my plushies. Um, I'm doing a commission for my friend Emma of her lovely dog, Arnie. There he is. And he is a lurcher. And I'm going to be making him in plush form. So, I will be basing him off my pattern here, which is my current dog pattern. Um, it is an Afghan, but I will be making it a little bit better than this and more like Arnie's body type um, I will be using this fur here which is absolutely super soft it really is really nice fur it sort of feels like velvet it's amazing um, I was going to put brown patches on him because he's got brown on him but uh, I think for how I'm going to do it I'm going to instead use fabric pens and paint on his markings because I think I'll be able to get it more accurate if I do patches I'm gonna have to cut out bits of it and sew them on and he might be a bit wonky and I really don't want that to happen so my mum suggested why don't you use fabric markers and paint him and I'll be able to get him looking far more like the real Arnie if I do that he will also have armatures in his legs because he's gonna be quite the legs are going to be quite thin because he's a lurcher which is a sight hound and they're quite thin elegant dogs so he's going to have wire in his legs so that he'll be poseable and also my friend gave me his puppy collar which I have over here so um, that is going to be on him too he's going to be wearing that and he's, he's quite a big dog so it's amazing that he used to be able to wear this which is very small, it will probably fit around his ankle now but it used to fit around his neck when he was a puppy and also I do have some of his fur which will be going inside the plush as well that's in the other room which is, um, is that where, yeah that's in the other room um, where I left it when I came home from work um, currently I don't know what it will be like when I post this video but currently we're having problems with of course coronavirus um, by this time I will probably have mentioned it in a video somewhere I'm planning to do a video making sure you're all okay so you've probably seen that so I came home from work in a bit of a hurry and um, had to talk about things with my mum because I live with my parents and they are vulnerable people as far as coronavirus is concerned so let's get back to the plush right what I will be doing is using this paper here it's A3 paper I'll be drawing around this changing it according to how I want it and I will be cutting it out of the paper, so that will be the paper template once I've got it looking how I want it to I will then transfer it to cardboard and cut it out of the cardboard as well if you make plushies the best thing to do for cardboard if you want some nice templates is to use cornflake packets or whatever you know, cereal boxes they're pretty good and they're quite big so you can get a whole entire dog or whatever you're making out of the side of it so these are the things I'm going to be starting with and I will get back to you on that okay so this might look like a mishmash but basically what we have are the parts that I was using from a previous pattern which will go for his tail and head um, and this was the pattern that I drew up for his body on paper there's also a tummy gusset there that's that big long thing that's his, uh, the sole of his foot and here is his ear so I have transferred all these things onto card including this and this and these are the insides of his legs so that's going to be the outside either side of his body and his inner legs will go either side on the inside and there of course is his tummy the sole of his foot and his ear so we put these the head the head gusset which is the top of the head and the tail alongside it and you have a complete pattern for Arnie the Lurcher next we need to put this on the material and cut out all the pieces that will go to make up his body and head okay with the exception of his ears all the pattern pieces are drawn out the ears will be drawn on black fabric so I have drawn out all these pattern pieces and the fur is going down this way it's important when 
drawing out pattern pieces on fur that you have the fur going in the way that it would do naturally on the animal. So when he's finally made, all his fur will be going in the right direction. I find there's nothing more annoying than having a plush and its fur is sewn on the wrong way. Um, that used to be quite common back in the 90s and earlier, but towards the end of the 90s, and especially with the Beanie Babies that you could get back then, um, people started sewing their fur on in the correct way that it should be, which is really nice, and the trend seems to have continued, so most of the plushies you find today have the fur on the, uh, the right way. So, next I will cut all these pieces out. Here you can see uh, the two foot pads and I've trimmed one, the one on the left and the one on the right is untrimmed. The reason I trim them is because when you sew the toy together uh, you don't get the fur caught in the stitches. So if you buy a plush quite often the uh, pattern pieces haven't been trimmed. So you can see if the fur is longer it's actually got caught in the stitches and it doesn't look very good. If you trim the edges of it so that the fur is shorter, it's easier to sew, you can sew it better, you can keep the stitches tighter as well which means that it won't loosen over time and you don't have to try and pick the fur out of the stitches after you finish sewing it. So now I have to do all of these the same way as I did that foot pad. Wish me luck! So it's the end of the evening and this is how far I've got. He's been pinned together, ready to be sewn. And he is of course inside out because you need to sew it on the inside and turn it out the right way for it to look like it should. I haven't cut his ears yet. Uh, these are the parts of his head and under there are these little foot pads from earlier. So next part is sewing him up. And here is Arnie's body all stitched up inside out and right side out. So you can see sort of what he's going to look like when he's done. He will of course have all his markings painted on as well. So all that's left to do now as far as stitching is his head. I need to cut his ears out from the black material and then make his head as well. And here is his head unstuffed. And here is his head stuffed. Doesn't look much, like much at the moment, but it will once I've painted it. So here's Arnie's body. And this is the armature that's going to go inside his body. I've used plastic coated wire similar to what I used in my puppet. This is the first time I've done a plush with an armature inside. So this is going to go inside him and then he will be stuffed as well. Okay so the armature is inside him now. So the body holds itself up. It's obviously a little bit flimsy and wobbly because it's not been stuffed. But by the time I've stuffed it, it should be nice and poseable. If you look through here, you can see the armature is inside. There's the spine going down there and his shoulders and his hips are way back. So, so far it's quite a success. Now you can see I've half stuffed him. So this is his back legs and his bottom. I also put a little bit of stuffing into his tail. He keeps wanting to overbalance because his front legs are flimsy at the moment. The front legs with the armatures in and the back legs are stuffed so that they will be able to bend. I've made sure to stuff them quite firmly as well because the more he's bent I mean hopefully he won't be sort of bent or posed too much because it does put a little bit of strain on the armature 
and the stuffing but if you wish to pose him he will be able to be posed so I just have to stuff the front part now and his body will be finished also uh, I need to sort of like poke out lumps and stuff you see the uh, stuffing is kind of in a lump there and there's a shallow bit here I need to uh, sort of poke the pen around this is what I've been using it's not very professional you can get stuffing sticks and there are some downstairs but I'm too lazy to go down and get them um, a pen works just as well so I will poke that out so everything will be nice and smooth and he will be well stuffed but I think he's looking pretty good he's got like proper dog back legs there with his hocks and everything so it's just a case of finishing him off okay perhaps the most important moment in stuffing Arnie's body is to add in the tufts of his hair that Emma gave me that I could include to go inside the plush to make it more personal so trying to do this one handed here let's get them out right, here they are tufts of Arnie's hair and in they go if I can grab them they're kind of going everywhere there we go inside I'll just grab the rest of it so there's his fur inside the plush I've gathered it all up and put this stuffing in on top Let's use the camera a minute or use my hand holding the camera there we go so his fur is inside the plush and it's all stuffed in there as well so a piece of Arnie is inside this plush and here we go I'm losing a bit of light now so I'll have to put the light on in a minute but there you see he's looking more like a dog so the fur is all inside him and the stuffing and everything else and the armature and his body is now stuffed so I just need to make his eyes and nose next and then I will be doing I'll be sewing those on sewing his head on and finally I'll be painting on his markings with my brown fabric marker and then he will be all done here we have his eyes and nose I've made them out of polymer clay and baked them in the oven next I will need to attach them to his head I do this by putting a, uh, a small piece of wire in the back that holds it in place a bit like you find on a button and I put um, extra strong thread which is this uh, and tie it to that and then put it in the head pull it through and use super glue to just stick them in as well so they stick in nice and firmly so uh, that's the next step and here he is with his eyes and nose attached and also his head attached his neck's a little thin but the collar's going to go around that so it'll just sort of cover up the thinness of his neck it's the first plush I've made that's got like quite a long neck but this is what he looks like I think he's looking pretty good so here are the pens I ordered them from Germany they were sent on Friday it's now Sunday and they've come I mean with all the uh, quarantining and everything that's going on it took them three hours to ship them apparently from Germany to here and uh, I've got them now so I can start um, painting his fur to make him look like this that's what he looks like there you see he's got brown all on his face and everything in patches he's got more brown on the other side of him um, I use these pens because they're actually for wood but they're permanent markers so it'll do but I got them because they're all different shades of brown and when I looked on Amazon the only sort of brown marker pens they had for fabric seemed to be the, all this colour here which wouldn't really do because he's so many different shades I'll be able to uh, do a better job if I've got more colours at my disposal so he will no longer be white I will paint him and he will have the uh, the markings on him 
And here he is, all finished. With all his markings. And I sewed some little toes on his feet as well. And of course he's wearing Arnie's puppy collar. Which I had to put on one of the smaller holes because his neck's quite slim. But I think he looks good. So I'll take some better pictures of him and uh, show him off a bit better with comparison pictures to the real Arnie. But there you go, step by step from start to finish, how I make a plush.